Good day viewers, you are welcome. Let's solve these nice functional equations. An interesting one. We have f of x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals x squared plus 1. And what is f of x? At the end of this video, we're able to know f of x and uh, I'll be answering some questions under this that follows. So let's see how we solve this. We have this very long domain in this function which is x squared minus 4x plus 4. I want to reduce this to only x. So if you look at this, we know that all this domain, no matter how value we plug in, is always greater than the value of x. So we are expecting to get something uh, of a function that's less than the output of these given functions. Let's apply substitution method. Here we have x squared. Suppose I let x squared minus 4x plus 4. If I let this one equals t. Then from this left hand side, if we have these expressions as a squared minus 2, uh, let's say we have a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. How does this relate it? Here is x squared. If I write this x squared as x squared minus 2 times 2 times x plus 2 squared. So we can easily convince ourselves that the whole of this one equals a minus b all raised to the power of 2. And whereby for this one as well, when we follow the same pattern, we are going to get x minus 2 raised to the power of 2. Then after getting this, we are going to let this equals x minus 2 squared equals t. And uh, I want to make x the subject of this formula. We have squared here. By taking the square root of both sides, here is x minus 2 equals plus or minus the square root of t. And this t is greater than or equals 0. So by adding 2 to both sides, we have x equals 2 plus or minus square root of t. This is what we get for x. And uh, from the right hand side of the given problem, we have x squared. So we got x and I want to make uh, sure I got x squared from here by taking the square of both sides. So by squaring this, we are going to have 2 plus or minus the square root of t all raised to the power of 2. So this is for the x squared. And let's come back to the question itself and uh, we substitute back into the function. So the function is f of x squared minus 4x plus 4. And everything here is represented by t equals x squared plus 1 as x squared is now 2 plus or minus the square root of t, then all raised to the power of 2 plus 1. This is for f of t, but t and x, they are a member of real number, they interchanged each other. So by replacing a t here with x, we are going to have f of x equals 2 plus or minus the square root of x, all raised to the power of 2 plus 1. This is what we have. But what if we are asked to find f of x? And before we find f of x, we define x here as a member of real number, not equals to negative. So that is, x here is greater than or equals 0. So we don't need the complex solution at this point because x is only a member of real number. So after we have defined this, if the question says, find, again, what is f of 1? If f of 1 is greater than 8. Suppose this question is later asked, how can we do this 
uh, by import by sub, substituting it in this function. Let's see how we do that. So according to the ask questions, what is f of one? If f of one is greater than eight. So we just try and substitute this thing in this, but a is plus or minus, which means there are two things here we are going to consider. Consider positive and then we consider the negative. So for the positive one, we are going to have f of one equals, we have two plus the square root of one squared plus one. So according to this condition, we're expecting to get just one answer. Here we have two plus square root of one, that is one, then all squared plus one. Two plus one, this gives us three squared plus one. And three squared here is given as nine plus one. So we have nine plus one equals 10. So we have f of one here. The f of one here is given as uh, is given as 8. So according to the uh, the questions asked, this is true because f of 1 is greater than 8. And for the second one, we are going to test for negative and see what will be the result of that if it's also going to be valid for this argument. We have f of 1 here. For the negative, we have 2 minus the square root of x. So all squared plus 1. So by replacing x with 1, we have f of 1 equals 2 minus square root of 1, all squared plus 1. Then, when we continue here, we are going to have f of 1 equals, we have 2 minus square root of 1, that is 1, raised to power 2 plus 1. Then after having this, we have this as 2 minus 1, that gives us 1 squared plus 1. So 1 squared is by multiplying 1 by 1. So if you have 1 squared, it equals 1 multiplied by 1. This is not 1 multiplied by 2. Some did that mistake. And uh, we have 1 plus 1, that is equals 2. And looking at this, our f of 1 here is less than 8. So whereby we are going to reject this and conclude that our f of 1 here equals 10 is the only valid solution according to that condition. Thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye bye.